yourself for the most intense night of sleep you've ever had. It's about 9.30 at night. Normally you don't go to bed this early, but tonight you chose to. Not because you had to, but you're so tired of having to carry all your friends on Call of Duty. So you decide, oh man, I'm really tired. I need to go to bed because I'm so tired. So you go to your room and you take off your shirt and you take off your pants. Don't take off your boxers. This ain't that kind of video. And then you put on some shorts. And the shorts are this good pair of shorts that are really soft. You got them at Target for $13.99. Then you lay down. You're so tired from having to carry your friends. It's so exhausting. Your head is getting heavy. It's almost a painful heaviness. But you lay down and you close your eyes. And as you close your left one, then your right one, you start to feel the heaviness in your head center in the cranium of your forehead. It hurts really bad. In fact, you wonder if you need to get up and go get some Tylenol. So you lay there and you are on your stomach and you put one hand, your right hand, onto the pillow. You grab it and with your left hand you gently caress the other side of the pillow at the top in the corner and you pinch it. Your head feels so much lighter for about a minute. Then you're like, oh God, not only am I so tired, but I gotta get up and go to the medicine cabinet. So you get up, you're very frustrated you lift up the left side of your body with your left arm but with the right side you just fall off the bed with your right leg your right side of the body was almost asleep you don't want to wake it up but you have to walk left foot right foot left foot right foot left oh you kicked your right foot on the side of the bed. Okay. Back up two steps. Out of nowhere, you feel a sudden pain rush to your toe. And you're like, oh my god. That was, that's, this, this sucks. I, I don't want to do this. I hate this. It's what you think. But you go out of your bedroom. You're dizzy a little bit. But you make it to the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. You pop open the medicine. You pop open the medicine of Tylenol. And you look inside the container. But it is empty. It's emptier than your wallet. Because you spent so much money. Putting all your money into the Call of Duty game. And your Xbox One. So you have no money and you're empty in your wallet and now you're empty in your Tylenol and now you have to walk back to your bed with no medicine. As you go back, this time you decide to jump into the bed, right arm down first because it's still really heavy asleep almost.
it's so hurtful. It hurts. So you lay down. You toss a little bit to the left. You're on your stomach now. With your face against the pillow. Left side facing to the left. Your head able to breathe air. Every breath makes your headache feel just a little bit better. But every exhale makes you feel like your head is a little hot. You get so hot in your head that you decide to flip the pillow. When you flip the pillow, the other side of the pillow is really cool for like 15 seconds, but you're really warm. So then you're like, oh man, it felt really good like two seconds ago, but now it's hot. That's a bummer. You still know you need to go to sleep now because you look at your clock on your phone and you go, oh man, it's already 1015. Where did the time go? Then you see a notification from your ex and she's like having a good time. She's out with her friends on a Tuesday night. What is she doing? Is what you think of. But you know you need to go back to sleep. So you close your eyes and put the phone down. And you drop the phone. You turn your head to the right. You turn your head to the left. You turn around and get on your back. You can't handle the pain in your head. And it's overwhelming you. You want to think about anything else. You pick up your phone. And you look at her story. She's out. At that place. That you used to take her to. And downtown. The little bar. In between the alleyway. The screen turns almost blue. Pink. And purple only. It's ladies night and at ladies night you can tell that there's a lot of dudes in there who think your girl is very attractive because there's only like four girls there all the rest of the people there are dudes and they're there to get your ex and remind you you did break up with her but it wasn't because you didn't love her she said no whenever you asked her to move in with you. I mean, gosh, you've been dating 13 months. How soon is too soon enough? You get upset. You put your phone down. Then you pick it up again. And you look and you rewatch her story. This time you notice the person filming is probably Regina. And you're like, I hate you too, Regina. But in reality, Regina didn't do nothing to you. You're just upset. You're so mad that you turn the screen off on your phone and you toss it against the wall. But you're okay. Everything's fine with the phone. You bought the expensive OtterBox case. That's going to be the only good part of the story. You close your eyes. And this time. You take your pillow. And put it gently. Over your head. Causing there to be a high pressure. Heavy weight. Above your head. You breathe slowly. Slowly. And slower, and slower, and so, so soft. You feel.
feel like you're hot. It feels good. It feels warm. It feels safe. And then you let go of the pillow. You feel air coming into your nostrils. You breathe really deep. And then you exhale. And then you're the freaking loudest ringtone ever. It goes ding, 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 ding. I hope y'all enjoyed this video.